to Blair with a Spoon, my very first video blog. Welcome, I'm pretty excited about it for my very first video. Yeah. So, um, I'm Blair Lawrence, I'll be your host for, uh, well, whenever you come to my blog, really. My blog will be about two-person cooking, so if you have a hot date some night and you don't know what to serve them, you kind of want to impress them a little bit, guys or girls, if you want to have Cook your girlfriend's uh, extra special meal for an anniversary or just a regular Monday night. It's the perfect place to come just to get some fresh ideas, you know? Something that you don't typically cook for yourself or for you and your partner. So, my very first uh, meal on Blair with a Spoon will be celeric romelade, which is a side dish actually, and we'll be using a celery root, this ugly thing. Probably scared to buy this at the store, I'm sure. And I was, to be fair. And uh, it's a side dish, and you want to serve it with something that's uh, savory, like a spiced salmon or chicken or whatever. And just because it has, it's it's not it's not too sweet, but it has it has some apple in it. So it's it's really good. And it's so crispy. You can serve it with a nice sauvignon blanc, and you're on your way. So to start, I'll show you how to cut this bad boy open. So we're just going to cut off the root first. Who's that a-riding? Who's that a-riding? I forgot the stuff. Great. So now that we've cut off all the ugly skin, it looks like a coconut, doesn't it? This is easier to cut than avocado or a mango. So, you know, just get into it. And now we're going to start juuling it up. The entire salad is made of little pieces of apple and celery. Celery root. So let's go ahead and start juuling it up. Well, they had this job. God told Moses for love to do out of some flop. All right, so now that we're done juuling up, if juuling is a word, uh, we're going to throw some lemon in here just because the apple is white, the celery root is white. We don't want it to go all dingy yellow on us, you know? So we can have it the next day if we decide to make it the day before. So we're going to grab two bowls. One for our sauce and one for our everything else, you know, everything else. So we're going to throw it in here. Awesome. Okay, so now that that's done, we are going to peel the apple first. Now that you're precious, you'll be throw into the bowl and again with a little bit more lemon just to keep it warm. Now that we're done that, we're going to start with the sauce now. All right, so we're going to take one egg yolk. We're making a romalade, so that's originally a, a French mayo, essentially. So we're going to throw it in here. Okay, we're going to mix it up. And I'll show you a trick. We're going to take a tea towel, and we're going to spin it up. We're going to make it wet. Damp. Okay, and we're gonna put it in a circle, and now we have our hands. So we're gonna slowly add in a third of a cup, half olive oil, and we'll just add the olive oil in, and half a uh, planter's peanut oil. And I'm not plugging any brand, just half, 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 and half of a third of a cup. Now that we're done that, we're going to put in a teaspoon of white wine vinegar. Okay, there we go. And now my favorite part, we're going to put in some granular French mustard. So it's the mustard with all those little grain beads in it. And we're going to put a generous tablespoon, and I'll show you it here what it looks like. Perfect. And we're going to throw that tablespoon in there, a good tablespoon, you know, it's the, it's the best part of the sauce. And we're going to stir it up. And then we're going to throw some salt in there and some freshly ground pepper. And then we're going to put in about a teaspoon, half teaspoon of some crushed fennel. And you crush it just to kind of give it that smell. 
that aroma and uh, taste good. If you don't like that, then skip it, whatever, right? Stir it up. Perfect. And we're gonna add just a little bit more lemon and again, watch out for the seeds. Okay, perfect. And now we're gonna add it into our mixture here. Perfect, nice and crisp and cold. Now we're gonna go ahead and plate it. And there we go. Looks amazing, nice and crisp, all those little uh, mustard grains in it. It'll look good beside anything that has some color to it, maybe with some salmon or a blackened chicken, you know? Well, my favorite part, which will be my favorite part, uh, my first time eating on my blog. Hopefully, I do okay. Mm. All the little grains pop in your mouth, you know? It's so fresh, it's really good, you gotta give it a go and tell me how it is, if you like it or not. Anyways, thanks for watching my, my very first Blair the Spoon episode, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, hopefully you'll come back for round two, uh, and uh, thanks for watching. I See you later.